how do you program the controller for EcoWorthy's dual access solar tracker and some troubleshooting tips. So everything's hooked up. We hooked up the actuators. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna show you how to power up the controller first. And that is, you hook the positive and the negative up to the battery. Once you get it hooked up, you can push these buttons, but they won't do anything, right? But you gotta push the set button to enter the manual mode. So you're gonna see east, west, south, north, right? All right, and the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that when you push the east that it turns the panels to the east. When you push the west, it turns the panels to the west. Push, push the north, north, south, south. If it does not, all you have to do is switch two wires. All right, so briefly, I'm gonna show you real quick. We're gonna push the east. All right, and if you can back up and see, this is going back to the east. So you can see that right there, east. All right, we'll take it and get it flat, and then I'm gonna push the south button, come take a look. And then I'm gonna show you what to do if yours does not go the right direction. So see that south? Okay, we're gonna go north. All right, now take a look, that says north, and what direction is it turning? It's turning north, right? All right, now we're gonna take the face off of this controller, and I'm gonna show you what to do if when you push east, it goes to the west. Now, if your buttons south is not making it turn to the south, I'm gonna show you what to do. We're gonna use a Phillips screwdriver. I've got a Phillips bit. Be careful using your drill to tighten these screws back because you can bust the plastic. This is plastic, so you wanna be very careful. You got four screws. You take off the cover. I'm gonna show you a few things here. Now that we've got the cover off, you can see these are the buttons for east, west, south, north. Whenever you push, push the east, if it goes to the west, then we need to come to where that actuator for that axis is wired into, and it says west, east. And if, when you push the button for east, it goes to west, all you have to do is swap these two wires. That's all you have to do. You can use a Phillips screwdriver, make sure you don't use your drill and bit. And then if you need to wire up your wind speed sensor, which wires up right here, it's G and then I N, ground and input. Then you use a thermostat screwdriver like this right here. See, super simple. So that's the troubleshooting for this. I had to swap those wires. You've got the actuator for the north and south axis and then east and west, and it's labeled. You got black and red wire. Uh, so that's the troubleshooting I had to do. I like the fact that they've got a couple fuses in here. So you do have that as your protection. So if something's not working, you might wanna check your fuses, and that's good. I'm glad they have that as uh, overcurrent protection for this controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on, and we're gonna start with the next steps once you've completed the manual setting mode and you've established a direction for the north east south and west and you made sure that the movement is correct in each direction then i want you to consult the manual let's take a look at that manual and see what it says this is the user manual that ecoworthy provides with the controller scroll to page 13 and you'll see there's a notice. It says the values of T3, T4, T5, T9, T10, and T11 need to be fine-tuned according to the actual environment conditions and the working conditions of the solar tracker. You're gonna have inconsistencies in the way that this solar tracker works if you do not pay attention and set up these parameters correctly. So we've got wind protection settings, and that is T3, T4, and T5. There are default seconds that are applied to T3, which is 34, T4, which is 11, T5, which is 20. And then we've got cloudy night returning settings. So we've got T9 at 34 seconds, T10 at 11 seconds, and T11, which is 20 seconds. And you can see that these are about the same as far as the seconds for the default settings. I'm gonna show you how to adjust these settings and then I'm gonna talk about uh, what you need to know for adjusting these settings. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you how to enter the advanced setup, enter the settings. Uh, make sure that whenever you power up the controller, you can see how I cannot adjust anything, right? I can't, I can't make the axis turn east, west, south, or north because I did not push the set button, all right? Push the set button, then you'll be able to do that, all right? But to enter the advanced setup, we're going to have to push the set button and hold it for five seconds. Once we do that, you're going to see it says set TX, east, west, wait time, all right? Now, to be able to turn to the next page, we're going to click the east and west. See, we can go back or we can go forward. Set TY, set TX, set T3. All right, so we're going to set T3. I'm going to show you how to go through it. T4, T5, and T6. So we're going to set T3, T4, T5, T6. And this is how you go through. Now, to be able to change a setting, we go north and south, all right? So let's go back to T3, and let's assume we know uh, how long it's going to take to move from west to east position, and it's 35 seconds, all right? So we're going to take and push the north until it says 35, all right? And then to save our settings, once we get done, we're going to push quit, all right? Now I'm going to move through. I told you we were going to set T3, T4, T5. We're also going to set T9, which is sun low to east, all right? We're going to set that. We're going to set T10, or we're going to set T11, all right? And that's how you get through the options, uh, and that's how you change the parameter settings. And then you save it by pushing quit, all right? And it says saving, all right? Now, I'm going to explain each step. First thing we're going to do is set up wind protection settings. Why do we have wind protection settings? We have an alarm on the controller. And whenever our wind speed sensor senses that there's high wind, it sends a certain amount of voltage that we have programmed for our controller to initiate wind protection. So whenever we get high wind, the uh, more that this spins, the faster it spins, the higher the voltage, right? And then we have a certain threshold. I'm going to show you right here. It says V2 and it says 0.35. Right here, it says the threshold value for the controller to decide whether to initiate the wind protection state. All right. Default setting is 0.35. All right. So it's only going to take 0.35, a little over that to initiate wind protection. So we're gonna set up T3 first, but I wanted you to know what that V2 was, okay? So T3, what is T3? It says right here, uh, the move time to the east when in wind protection state. It's set for default 34 seconds. So what does that mean? Move time to the east. So assuming we are in the western position, right? We're in the west, all the way to the west then whenever we have a wind alarm, how long is it gonna take for us to move all the way from the west to the east? Now you can see, since I spun the wind speed sensor, look, it's moving. The tracker is moving. Look at that, that is awesome. So right now it's in the full east position. That's excellent, that's really cool. All right, so you need a timer, you need a stopwatch, and what we're going to do is I'm using another phone and I've got my timer set up, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this in the full west and then I'm going to hit the controller and then I'm going to time how long it takes to go to the east. That way I can set up T3. How long does it take to move from fully west to fully east? I've got my stopwatch and my timer. It's fully west. We're gonna hit the timer at the same time that I hit this button. You ready? Here we go. Now we're gonna go all the way to the east, see how long it takes. We got 23, 24, 25, 26. All right. 
30 seconds. It takes 30 seconds. You see that? So 30 seconds, we're gonna program our timer for, it's 30.5, we'll program it for 31 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and program that. We're gonna to get to the next step. Now that we're in the farthest east position, we're gonna to go to T4. And this is T4, the move time to the west when in wind protection mode. All right, so T4 is how long does it take to move from fully east to towards west till it's flat? So I've got my stopwatch right here and you can see it's fully east because if you come around here and you look, this is west, right? All right, so you can see this stopwatch. Got the stopwatch ready. I'm gonna push the west button on the controller at the same time as I push the stopwatch. Ready? And if you think about it, it should be half of 31, right? All right. It is 17 seconds. So the default was 11 seconds. That's not gonna work. We're gonna have to set this correctly so that we have uh, the right consistency with the way that the actuators work and the controller works. So now I'm gonna set up T4 for 17 seconds instead of 11, and then we're gonna move on to T5. Now we're gonna set up T5, and T5 is the move time to the north when in wind protection mode. All right, so we gotta put this all the way in the south position which it's all the way in the south position right now and we got to get our stopwatch ready and we've got to take and drive this all the way to the north all right how long does it take let's hit the stopwatch and let's hit the north right now So 16 seconds. So that value was set to 20. So you can see all of our values had to be changed for wind protection. You see, we changed 34 to 31. We changed the T4 from 11 to 17. And then now we're changing the T5, which is set for 20 uh, to 16, all right? So I'm gonna change that to 16. I'll probably make it 17 because it is 1650. But now we're done with the wind protection settings, T3, T4, and T5. Now we're gonna move on to cloudy night return settings, 34, 11, and 20. For the cloudy night returning settings, T9, T10, and T11, you're gonna set the same values you recorded for T3, T4, and T5. That's gonna be set the exact same. I'll show you how to set that up and how to save those parameters. T7, we need to talk about that. It's set for 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. T8, that's set for 600 seconds, and that's 10 minutes. So I'm gonna show you what T7 and T8 mean. T7, wind lock time. The value that decides how long would the tracker stay in the position after running T3 to T6. Default setting value is 600 seconds. Let me explain. If there's a high wind condition, the wind speed sensor is gonna send that signal to the controller and the controller is going to move the tracker to a safe position for a locked time, 600 seconds. A typical thunderstorm is gonna last around 30 minutes, maybe even more. So I think that the longer period of time that you have set for it to be locked is gonna be safer for the controller because it needs to stay like this, flat in a windstorm, in a thunderstorm. It doesn't need to be like this. And that's the reason you need to increase the time, in my opinion, and I'm gonna put it on 900 and I'm gonna show you how I set up that parameter. Now we're gonna look at T8. T8 is the delay value of the duration of weak sunlight. So if you're experiencing weak sunlight, 
then how long do you want the delay value to be whenever it starts tracking that sun again? See that right there? It's set for 600. I'm probably going to leave that at 600. All right, let's set everything up. Set button for more than five seconds. All right, let's push east till it says T3, which is 31. T4, which is 17, and T5, which is 17. Now, we're going to go to T9, which is going to be set for uh, 31, right? And then we're going to go to T10, which is going to be set for 17. And then we're going to go to T11, which is going to be set for... 17 as well now we're going to go back down to where it says uh, t7 wind lock time and i'm going to hold the north and we are just going to increase the seconds you can see how they're increasing i think it does not go past 999 but i don't want to go that far I'm going to go to 900 and I'm holding the north button because that's increasing the value. All right. And all right. Look at that. And that is wind lock time changed from 600 to 900. Now we're going to go to sun low delay. All right. We're going to hold the button oh it does go okay it does go more than it's in the thousands now okay well let me go ahead and put it for 15 minutes so all right so that is T8 set for 900. Let's go back to T7. I'm just curious, will this do more than uh, 999? It may do more than, it may do thousands. Let's see. No, it does not. Okay, so because it went back to zero. All right. We'll go ahead and make it for 950. How about that? All right. Once you get done, save it by pushing quit. Hope you enjoyed today's video about programming the controller for the EcoWorthy Dual Access Solar Tracker. If you want to see the video where I assemble and put together the Dual Access Solar Tracker or where I installed the solar panels on the tracker system, check out the link in the description to check out all those videos. Also, there's a discount code right now. Go down in the link in the description to find out what discount code to use to get a discount at EcoWorthy's website. That's down there in the link in the description as well. So please go visit their website. And if you need a way to make your solar system more efficient, make your panels more efficient, then definitely go get this dual access solar tracker. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching Taddy Digest. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you powered up if you let me.